at the top of our program, you had heard from Senator Claire McCaskill. Her office has been hosting a series of foreclosure clinics to help constituents. McCaskill, of course, is the junior senator from Missouri. The state's senior sen senator has also been very actively involved in resolving the mortgage crisis. I caught up with him on Independence Day. As the annual VP parade made its way through downtown St. Louis, Senator Christopher Kit Bond shared in the July 4th spirit with constituents. Last December, the Missouri Republican teamed up with Democratic Senate colleague Christopher Dodd of Connecticut to secure $180 million for foreclosure counseling. And he says he's taking steps to outlaw the kind of loan practices that have led to so many foreclosures, including the zero down payment mortgage. More than a third of the zero down payment mortgages go into default. And that means the homeowner uh, is faced with the trauma of losing the home, having their credit destroyed. It's a disaster for the community and it really has an impact on the entire economy in the nation. So I am working to get legislation to ban these zero down payment loans. Whether it's seller financed or somebody else is paying your down payment, you shouldn't be buying that house. Now, when you're in danger of losing your house, of course, you can be very vulnerable to things like rescue scams. And the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, which is part of the Treasury Department, in May they issued a consumer advisory to be on the lookout for rescue foreclosure scams. And what they found was it fell into three basic categories. First, there's the lease back or repurchase scam. Now, in that, somebody offers to pay your mortgage and rent your home back to you. But in return, you have to sign your deed over to them. And then they say, oh, we'll sell the home back to you, but it's not likely that's going to happen. The next type is refinance fraud. That involves someone posing as a mortgage broker or lender who offers to refinance your loan. Then the car and artist will trick you into signing papers. You think you're signing papers for a loan and you're actually signing your house over to them. The third category, bankruptcy schemes. And there are several types and they can get extremely complicated. But one or more con artists will take a partial interest in your house. Then they'll take advantage of the bankruptcy laws to stretch out the time period to bilk you out of your money. Mm -hmm. So what I'm wondering is, uh, because this advisory has been issued nationwide, I'm assuming this is a big problem. Have any of you come into contact with clients who've been built like this? We have come into contact with a lot of clients. In fact, some clients have even lost their homes already because of some scam or another. And you know, any time you have a vulnerable population like this, scams will definitely abound. And so uh, homeowners has got to be very careful about who they're talking to, first of all, and the credibility. And as I said earlier, there are a lot of free services out there in the marketplace with very reputable organizations. So you don't have to get caught up in somebody that's promising to relieve all of your headaches and pains. Go and talk to a credible agency that's certified by HUD, certified by the United Way, and that way you can at least avoid all of those scams. You named three, but I'm sure there's about 50 out there. Yeah, they probably all have the same basic scenario. Sure. And as an attorney, yeah, I'm sure yeah, you come into contact with, with those. And, and Missouri is one of the few states that has a foreclosure consultant act, which is uh, pro uh, borrower and uh, very effective in sometimes setting aside these these fraudulent schemes. And um, so see a lawyer as well. Mm -hmm. Ruth, we had an interesting um, situation recently that that is another twist on the scam issue. This young couple was approached by a home seller who could no longer afford her home. And she said to this young couple who wanted to buy a home, give me $1,800 and you can take over my home payments. And they were thrilled. So they never saw a lender. They moved into the home, gave her $1,800, made the first payment mm -hmm. to the lender, and found out that the woman was 10 months behind oh, in her yeah. mortgage. So they have the deed in their name. And so all these other back payments they're responsible for? Well, it's 
up in the air because it's it's such a so complicated. So complicated. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Dan and I have talked a little bit, but it's very complicated. So there are scams out there for home buyers too, if you're not careful, because that loan was not assumable, and yet they mm. they went ahead and did that. So we still don't know if that family is going to have to move, and I kind of imagine they may, which is too bad. Once again, read everything through or have a professional read mm -hmm. it for you. Mm -hmm. Well, in just a moment, we're going to start taking your questions. So call us at 1-800-568-9099 or email your questions to mortgage at ketc.org. In the meantime, here are a few terms that can be very helpful if you're in the market for buying a home or fighting to hold on to one. Adjustable Rate Mortgage, or ARM, a loan with an interest rate that fluctuates based on a specified financial index. Balloon Payment, a lump sum installment payment that's much larger than regular installment payments. Default, failure to make the proper loan payments. Grace period, a time frame in which payments can be made without penalty. Equity, the property's current value minus the sum of liens against it. Lien, a claim against real property. Private mortgage insurance insurance against a loss by a lender due to a default in payments by a borrower. Redemption period, a time frame in which a property owner has the right to redeem property from a foreclosure sale. 